Hello and welcome. Um, if you've been following the painting of the Minotaur, or the Abominator, I keep calling him a Minotaur, I don't know why. You'll notice I've changed a few things. We've started to do some of the metal. Uh, basically, we've painted all the metal black. Then we've gone over it with gun metal. Uh, these bits we've added a bit of rust. And I've gone around some of the edging with a violet ink and a flesh wash. We'll be touching some of this flesh up with flesh. Um, yeah, it was just save a bit of time. We've done some work on the claws uh, with some buff and browns and black near the top, tips of the fingers, just add shading. Same on the horn. Uh, we'll cover those in a bit. I just did that for now. And we've put some of the violet ink in the mouth. And that's basically where we are. Um, it was just save a bit of time. I'm sure you didn't want to watch me painting all this bits of metal black. It's just a gun metal and you can use anything you like. Same with the chain. You can use a gun metal or a steel colour, it doesn't matter. It's all going to get washed down in the end. Um, anyway, to get the rust effect, we're just going to add some of the Vallejo. This is a model here, but it doesn't matter. It's a rust. You could use a brown or shades of brown and work your way up. This is a rust. Just to make them, you know, the metal look a bit worn. But obviously, he hasn't just walked out, you know, the showroom. So basically, all we're going to do is add a little bit. So it's probably too much there, so I want to get rid of some of that. Far too much on there. Just excuse me if I talk a bit weird. I'm uh, got to go to the dentist for some dental treatment. I've been putting it off, but. You know, it's got to that stage where I need to get it sorted out. So that'll explain why I talk talking a bit weirdo at the moment, if you were wondering. Um, but yeah, we're just going to put this in. We don't need to cover all of it, we're just adding bits on to make it look dirty and, and old, worn, weathered, whatever. We might, we could probably come in with another lighter brown as well. So it's just to go around certain parts. You don't have to be neat with this. As long as you get you know, the effect that that it's, you know, old and beaten and it's been there a while. That's all we're trying to do. Need to do this on all the on all the metal that's exposed. See, there's lots of little bits hidden away. We also went around the chamber, we only did a lot of the links in between. We didn't go over the old chain. Because as I say, it will get washed down. So, a lot of it. You don't have to be too neat. You just want here and there really. We've already done the legs in this, what I'm doing now. Uh, I did that because I, I thought it would just speed this process up a little bit. We just want to make it look old. And we will be washing this down, all this metal. If you do use a violet ink to go around, as you can see, I've gone around in certain areas. The violet ink will be shiny until you matte it. It's just the ink draws shiny. Once you apply a matte varnish or whatever it is, it will totally tone it down. You can use, as I say, you can use brown to achieve this. You know, different shades of brown, lighter brown, darker brown. Don't go too dark, because we're going to put a wash on which will darken it a little bit anyway. So if you go too dark, it's... We well, can, I suppose, if you wish. We're just trying to do here is where we think rush, maybe. We don't have to be 100%. And obviously rush would build up. Under there, all in these crevices, 
got to creep its way around, little blobs and all over. Uh, that's all we do. Remember, you've got to remember, rust doesn't form itself in nice, neat patterns. So you're not looking for a nice, neat pattern. You're really looking for an effect, because when someone looks at your figure, they're not going to pick it up and investigate every spot and metal on it. To say, you know, did they do the rust in exactly the right place? Now, if you're going in a competition, take more time over it, that's all. You just need to take more time over it if you were going, you know, trying to paint some of it. And you're looking to win awards and stuff, you need to spend more time. You probably need to apply several shades. You might even need to want to use weathering powders. They might work better for you. Um, weathering powders can be removed, by the way, until you varnish them. Once you varnish them, they're permanent. But until then, they can be brushed off with a dry brush, or they can be totally removed with a wet brush. Um, yeah. So now you know. But yeah, as you say, we're just adding this rust, bits and bobs. We can always come back and do extra bits if we need to. As I say, that's it on my light throwback board. Oh, piece of cardboard. So now I'm here again. Anyway, that's all we're doing. That's all that was for that stage. Um, probably missing a few bits, yeah, missed a bit there, but you see what I mean, you've got to be a little bit attentive, because it's dead easy, I mean, this is not too bad, because this colour is this colour, but if you to mix something, now, yeah, you will need to make sure you don't miss that, oh, so, you'll get the colour close, I suppose, but it depends on how big an area it was that you missed, now, yeah, never overdo, so all we want to do is just give the impression that rust is down here. We're not looking for perfection at the moment. And I think that's about the rust covered in that shade of it. Anyway. So yeah, so that's that rust part done in the, you know, the rust air model paint. Uh, basically all the orange were is a buff there was a dark buff colour all the way from you know the back to the front um, and then a lighter brown so far out a darker brown that came out into these spiky bits then the buff was added some white to lighten it up and again and then again, until it's almost white at the end. But we're going to wash over this because we want to do it this up. That's very clear. The claws are similar. Uh, we're going to do all these the same. All the little growths that are coming out of his body and through his armor plating. We're going to paint those the same sort of way in a bone. Uh, I just think the bone would look better. I think I might have missed a bit. Anyway. So that's all that is. As I say, just make sure you've got everything. Now, if you want to, you could leave it like that. But if you're just going to play a game, it'd be perfectly fine. But we may lighten it up. We'll see. Anyway, we'll come back to the next part in a moment.